I think one of the things um, that has probably uh, profoundly touched me was day one, driving through the English countryside um, and just realizing that God has given us an incredible nation and such a beautiful country to live in. Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Deo TV. We've just had a wonderful time so far. This is day two of a ride from London to Paris. We were turning left at one junction and we had about nine cars that we were holding up. <laughs> and no one, we, we, didn't, we didn't have one to today. The way I could say that they were seen us encouraging us for the good riding, because we, at the beginning, it was a, no, today it was better than yesterday. I, for me it was, but a bit frustrated up this one hill. It's called uh, Mount uh, Violet. Um, it's violent. <laughs> but it's re, re, renamed <laughs> yeah. violent, not violent. Momentous uphill. Oh my goodness. Um, it was terrible. It was 13 degrees um, up. 14%. Is that all? Is that, yeah, I didn't see you cycle up it. <laughs> Done extremely well. A few aches and pains, but nothing serious. The highlight also for day two was Olivia singing whilst uh, making musical tunes on his bell, which I'm sure he'll repeat for you. We drove through some of the most beautiful French countryside, um, golden wheat fields, and um, it, it is absolutely gorgeous um, seeing the French countryside like that, seeing a lot of the French people along the roads. French countryside was unbelievable. It was great. It was really, really beautiful out there and the farming communities. It was very, very pretty. All I can say is I'm proud of the whole team. The support team included, um, I think it was brilliant. I, uh, I came on this trip thinking I was going to lose weight, but uh, I've probably put on all the weight <laughs> again. <laughs> it was incredible. On behalf of everyone here, yeah, just want to thank the support crew right now. You guys have been amazing. Um, Mom, Eminem, Mom and Dad, Eminem, thank you very much for your help, um, for Love setting up job. everything. Yes, the food's been amazing. I'd like to thank Janine. What the wonderful physio she has been. She's doing some very, some very, very good. Actually, check at the back here, Robocop. Robocop, been patching me up nicely there. You want to zoom in? Oh, John over here. John, come in, come in here, brother. Come in here quickly. Come in here. We would like to thank John here for taking us in the van the there. Best support driver. Best support driver. And thank you very much for the house move. It's been banging. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany as well. Yes. I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the mother hen. Keeps everyone together. <laughs> exactly. And, thank uh, you. And gets us going. Yeah. We don't want to get on a cycle. See if this one, come on. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> waiting anymore. Go. <laughs> well, thank you. It was it's fantastic, guys. Yeah. Very, very well organized. It was nice being part of the support team. I hope there is a next time round. The Tour de Cloche. C'est vraiment super. We had one last final push, just under 30 miles to get into Paris. And then it appeared that Olivia took us through the red light district of Paris because we stopped at every single red light that you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> 
What I find fascinating about this entire journey um, is that it's really been put together um, by ordinary people. So passionate about the city that they live in, that they're willing to do extraordinary things to bring about change. That's what I find completely overwhelming about standing in front of the Arc de Triomphe. Um, this journey started a couple of months ago when our leadership um, just felt that we wanted to do something more uh, for Christmas lunch on Jesus this year. And Philip came up with the idea, why don't we do um, a London to Paris bike ride? As a matter of fact, why don't we arrange our own London to Paris bike ride? Uh, and that's where the dream started. And um, a couple of months later, this is where I'm standing today. Having successfully done this, I, I'm overwhelmed just for my own personal feet, but more than that, for what this group of people and this church and this local body has put together. Um, it touches me at a very deep level um, and really overwhelms me with a lot of passion and faith for the future.